What's going on you guys? It is Shaggy Kurt here back with another Ranked Cup overview video. Today we will be looking at the Funky Kong Cup and the Bowser vs Donkey Kong Tour. Now in the Ranked Cup overview I go through and show you guys non-stop combos on every track and I also give you a little bit of tips and strategies that I did sum up on myself. So um, in this video I won't be looking strictly too much on the loadouts so I'll just be telling you guys my loadouts and what the best are on this track um, and then next Ranked Cup overview I will go through and show you guys um, each and every selection like the cart and glider for each and every track um, the main reason is because this tour does not have a new track so I have to pretty much go through and show you guys non-stop combos on each of the tracks so Royal Raceway, Vanilla Lake and Donut Plates but for example next tour I'm only going to be doing it on the new track and breaking it down that way so with that out of the way let's get on to Royal Raceway R so amazing track um, it's been in ranked now, I think twice in 2021, which is a lot. No, I think three times in the past six months, which is a lot. Um, so Royal Raceway R, I'm using my level six pink gold peach. She's in the token shop if you don't already have her. And yeah, she's a great driver. Um, she's at level six for me, so that's fantastic. Next, I'm gonna be using the level seven double uncapped rose queen. Love this card so, so, so much. It's making a big dent in this week's ranked cup in the Funky Kong Cup. So yeah, I'll be using this cart here, Mini Turbo Plus, phenomenal. Paired with the Coin Boxer is the best. So, Rose Queen, and I'm gonna be using my level six, double uncapped, great, sale. This does unlock Royal Raceway R at level six, so I took it to level six. Amazing glider as well, and if you wanna invest into it, take it to level six, it will help you out in this Tours Ranked Cup, which is Funky Kong Cup. So, I'll show you guys a non-stop combo on this track. And then I'll show you guys some tips that I found and yeah, it's gonna be really fun. Let's go. All right, Royal Raceway R. So you definitely wanna start off at the front or like the second area is because you wanna take advantage of all of the coins and you just can't do it if the car racers are stealing everything. So here we have it. So line yourself up for the three coins while you're holding a mini turbo to the right. You can do a super turbo. Then you do one to the left. So left, one to the right, grab the coin and you do one to the right uh, or to the left. And so for this part, you can go behind the tree or you can go um, the normal route. So if you have a mushroom, I suggest taking behind the tree just because um, on the main road, there's no coins to collect. So take a shortcut while you can. So that's what I did here. Uh, in the second lap, I'll show you guys the normal route just so you guys can get a little used to it. So yeah. So we go to the right, one to the left while you go up here, very easy up here. Um, you charge it up to the right while you're, yeah, charge to the right, yeah. And you let go to the right once, grab your three coins, miss two there. Then you do one to the right. And I took the ramp here, and I do actually have a strategy uh, about this ramp, which I'll show you guys at the end of this run. So I use the ramp, great. Um, I used the item ticket because I got hit by a red shell. Um, so yeah, we have it, grab the coins, hit Mario there. We go to the right. This part you really want to get in those mini turbos. So by this, so by the grass, you see these uh, checkered line of pink and white. You can drift into that and you won't fall into the grass. So take advantage of that. But be careful when you go a bit forward because the grass does slow you down a lot and you will not be able to maintain your combo that way. So here you have it. So we have right. Also take advantage of the gyro control. So if you're going into the grass and you just can't pull your finger back, on time, you could you could tilt your phone and it will definitely help you. So that's a tip there, if you didn't already know. Uh, line yourself for the three coins, <laughs> missed one again. Mini turbos, right. Another one to the right, one to the left. Um, these are invisible walls, so you can crash into them and you will not fall out of bounds. So that's what I did here. And that's the lap. So now you charge one up to the right, a mini turbo, got these three coins, let go of a super. Charge it up to the left, another one to the right, and you let go, one to the left. Take advantage of the invisible walls here once again because there's no coins to help you maintain your combo, so you definitely need these mini turbos. So take a look here of what I did. Um, crash into the walls and get those hits, by the way. Definitely be sure to place your bananas, shells on places where you can hit the bots because it will definitely help you. It's, it's very awesome if you throw down your uh, items. I know some people don't like to throw their items um, just for self-defense, but I, I really like to throw my items because it helps me out a lot. Just like right now, it helped me out quite a bit. So, charging up a mini turbo to the right. 
got Funky Kong there to the right, one to the right while you line yourself up for the three coins. Stupid blooper. Okay, uh, so one to the right, one to the left. Uh, well, another one to the left. And take advantage of everything. Um, so the reason why I'm staying in the middle of the road is because I'm using the gyro controls during this segment or else I would just be all over the place and on the grass. So yeah. So one to the left. Uh, coin box frenzy saved me here. Line yourself up for the three coins and pretty much mini turbo into the invisible walls. And you should call it a day. Shock dodge, nice. And yeah, there's a non-stop combo. Very nice, very easy if you have a awesome glider like I did. Um, note, my loadouts on these tracks are very, very high. So take that into consideration. Um, your runs will not be identical to mine at all. So keep that in mind. So with that being said, I'll show you guys the tip for a real raceway that I found out. So the ramp, um, you can actually take the ramp without a mushroom and I'll show you guys how. You just need to have a uh, manual drift on because you need to have the hops. So pretty much you mini turbo into the right and you hop onto the ramp and on the grass. And then when you hit the jump boost, you have to hop back on the grass. So whenever you're on the grass hop, so hop once and you get the coins and maintain your combo. And then you mini turbo and just what I show you guys. So that's a very, very awesome tip because once again, on the main road, there's no coins to collect. Um, so if you take this jump boost, it will help you out a bit. And if you have a jump boost plus cart, then I just saved your life if you didn't already know about this. All right, and yeah, if you guys have any questions about any of these tracks, or if you are unclear of what I said, then make sure to ask me because I will definitely help you guys out. And you can also join my Discord. Um, people are there to help you out as well. And you can also message me and yeah. Um, I'm glad to help you out. So, next is Vanilla Lake 1T. Here I'm using my level 7 Bowser Jr., level 7 Rose Queen once again, and a level 6 glider. Killer scores here. Um, I did triple uncap my Flower Glider, double cap my Rose Queen, and double cap Bowser Jr. So very, very awesome loadout here as well. So I'm very excited to show you guys um, my run on this track. All right, this is a fairly, fairly, fairly easy track to maintain your combo. So I don't think you guys need my help, but if you just want to take a look at my run, then be my guest. So here we have it. So a mini turbo to the right, took the ramp while charging up a mini turbo. Um, here we have it, mini turboing onto the jump boost. Um, one to the left, crashing into the walls, charging up another one taking one jump boost, taking the other. Um, for this one, it's kind of difficult. So you have to crash into the wall, or this is what I do. And you could charge up another mini turbo, and you could take this jump boost, let go of your mini turbo, and then you can actually get access to the other one. So this one, like that. Then you do a mini turbo to the right, grab all the jump boosts like that, and the coin. Um, mini turbo to the right while you grab your coins. Make sure to keep your turbo um, until after you let go of the turbo, should I say, after you get all of the coins, uh, just like I did. So one, two, then a three, hit the fourth one and make our way to the finish line, nice. Second lap, we do the same thing, dodge that Bowser shell, keep your turbo in, let go of the super one, yup. Nice, jump boost, one to the right, another one to the left, I think I charged up, yup. To the left and like that. Yeah, again, there's not much to say about this track. It's so easy and I feel like it's kind of useless like narrating it. So just take a look at it and hopefully uh, my actions, you guys can take advantage of them. If there's something that you're missing and you liked from my run, definitely implement it into your own. So yeah, ooh, fell into that hole. Never happened to me before, but luckily I got that banana hit with Asinius Mario. So lining, oops, lining yourself up with the coins and Non-stop combo, so, so, so easy and nothing special, you know? Uh, so yeah, uh, now I'll show you guys a little tip that I found on this track. So it was kind of hard to find a tip on this track and this tip is not something that you probably want to be using for Ranked Cup or if you are a skilled gamer in Mario Kart Tour, then you may want to take advantage of it, but here, I'll show you guys. So you mini turbo in and you can actually go to the side so you can mini turbo onto the left and let go of it and take two coins. And then, you, you, I don't know what to do for this part. So I'll show you guys what I mean once again. So you mini turbo, one, two, jump off this jump boost and do the same that way, one, two. And this will actually make you go out of bounds. So I suggest using the item or like if you have a mushroom, 
then I suggest doing this just so you can maintain your combo. So one, two, and I got stuck and I got nailed by my green shell. How fun. So yeah, that's my vanilla like one T run. And uh, if I'm going a bit fast, you guys, I'm so sorry. Um, next ranked cup overview, we'll be looking strictly at one track. So I'll actually be going into depth in that. Usually when I do three tracks, I don't really get time to like talk about them and really like go in depth with it. And that's why uh, I, it's kind of a bummer that we don't have a new track because I don't get to focus on that and show you guys my pure strategy because these are old tracks. You guys probably know what to do. Like with vanilla like 1T, it's a piece of cake. So yeah. Uh, next, let's move on to Donut Plains 2T. Love this track as well. These tracks, by the way, have all returned in like the past three months. So I don't know. I, I think they could have chosen some better tracks, but it's fine. They're easy. They're fun. So I'm fine with that. So here we have Journal Planes 2T. I'll be using my Penguin Luigi. Uh, no, 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 my Ninja Shy Guy picks up his item. It's much better, so I'll be using him. Level six double and oh, level six single capped Black Dozer and level five Bright Balloons, which are no capped. So let's go. All right, we're already at the last one. So starting it off at first, you definitely want to always start at first um, in your ranked runs. If you're not first, then just refresh it. You're not going to lose anything. So. All right, two, one, let's go. First, you take advantage of the Monty Moho. So boom, boom, and boom. So let's go. So one, two, and three. Next, you charge up your mini turbo to the left. Um, you can also hold your turbo, but you may lose your combo. So that's why I let go of it. So straightforward. Next, you want to take advantage of this Monty Mo, this one, and this one, all three of them. Um, Take advantage of the jump boost, jump boost, and you mini turbo to the right while you grab three coins, right? I tried to grab three coins. Um, you can also uh, mini turbo on off of the jump boost. So what I'm saying is you can use the uh, sides of the platform to mini turbo because they are invisible walls, so you will not fall off of them. So take advantage of that. Then you mini turbo to the left, grab the three coins, let go of it. We have it. And then you do the same. So one, two, three, you mini turbo to the left. Bloopers blocking the way. Uh, mini turbo to the left and uh, let go of it. Oof, mini. I use item ticket once again because I got hit by a character. But other than that, you really don't need a item ticket for any of these tracks in this ranked cup. Um, so yeah. So yeah, there we have it. Uh, Next you do one, two, three, like that. Mini turbo to the left, super turbo. One to the left and oof, <laughs> fire Rosalina. So there we do it. Same thing as the first lap. Just watch how I do my lines. Set yourself up for the three coins and super turbo to the finish line with a nonstop combo. Very nice. So I actually do have an uh, awesome tip for this track. Um, I actually have three ways of doing it. So I'll show you guys what I mean by that. So first way is uh, you can actually take advantage of the Monty Mole hole and the jump boost. So I'll show you guys the first way to do it. So boom, boom, as you can see, you go up here, one jump boost, two jump boost, but this way you will actually fall into the grass. So if you have a mushroom, then do this. Um, other than that, I don't recommend it. But if you do have a frenzy, then I suggest you do take this because you get two extra jumps. So one, two, and your frenzy will help you keep your combo. Next, I want to show you guys the good way, you, the, the way that most people should take. So this is my strategy, my, my top strategy. So we've been taking the far end one. I showed you guys two ways to take the far end one, but I'll show you guys the first one. You can, this is actually a good one. Now you actually want to take this one. So boom and boom uh, it will take some practice you definitely want to practice on it so don't get it first try don't get mad if you don't get it first try because it did take me quite a bit or quite a while to get this so i'll show you guys it once again one and two nice like that and you shall keep your combo because there's going to be another jump boost you may actually fall to the grass on this part but most likely you can turbo back onto the jump boost and you can keep your combo that way Alrighty guys, so that's it for the Ranked Cup overview. Once again, I apologize if I was going fast. Um, I've been stressed over my last week's Ranked Cup one. Um, I did actually film the Dry Bowser Cup overview. I loved it. I went in depth in every single track. It was like a 30 minute video. 
but the footage got deleted. Don't want to talk about it too much, which is sad. But yeah, I did the Funky Kong Cup. I wasn't too familiar with my lines on this track, but I tried my best and I hope you guys appreciate it. And yeah, hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you guys leave a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Keeping awesome, you guys. Um, once again, if you are unclear of what I said, message me or play back my video and strictly look at just the runs and pretend I'm not here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I promise next Ranked Cup overview, I will go more in depth than I did in this one. Next, I want to shout out to my amazing, amazing members. Shout out to my Minion Army members, Roy Go, Green Zero 21, and Mike B. Next, I want to shout out to my Elite Minions, Dexter Cohen, Kayla Funhouse, and Nance Plum. If you guys do want to become a member and help me out a million, million times, you can click the link in my description and it means the world to me. So thank you guys for watching once again. Stay blessed, stay awesome, and be happy. Bye. <laughs>